In the aftermath of Hurricane Beryl, the Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Honorable Alfred Prosper, along with officials from the Ministry of Agriculture, conducted site visits across the island to assess the impact of the hurricane. Minister Prosper's visits included various farms and fishing villages where he engaged directly with the affected communities. Several banana and plantain farmers reported substantial damage to their crops, with some expressing concerns about the long-term effects of their livelihoods. Fishing communities also suffered major destruction due to the powerful sea swells, which damaged boats and infrastructure essential to their operations. Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Barrymore Felicia, emphasized that the assessment will help in formulating targeted recovery strategies to aid in the restoration of both agricultural and fishing operations. Uh, we have instructed our extension officers, fisheries, crop, livestock extension especially, to be on the ground to conduct assessments. The assessments, this is the first day from 8 o'clock this morning, they have been out on the field and some before that. We are getting reports slowly. We have received thus far two reports. One is from the banana management unit and one is from the crop unit. And so far they are showing minimal damage to the crop industry, especially tree crops, root crops and vegetables. However, bananas it seems to be, have taken a significant toll. In some areas we are reporting 44% damage, as high as 44% damage overall in the banana industry. But this is a preliminary assessment. We are waiting for all the information to come in. Uh, the detailed assessment will be provided within the next two weeks. Minister Prosper encouraged the affected communities to remain resilient and assured them of ongoing efforts and support by the Agriculture Ministry, including the procurement of lime and fertilizer, as well as the silting measures to assist farmers in facing the challenges of climate change, helping them rebuild and recover from the devastation of hurricane burial. So I want to encourage them to stay strong. We will do the best we can to continue to provide the support. But I am really, really sorry to see every time that we are getting them to that level where they can begin to generate irregular income, natural disasters coming. And that, that tells us, you know, that we need to be very, very careful because this climate change is having serious negative impacts on the agricultural sector. And there is need for us to build that resilience in the sector to help reduce or minimize the impacts that those natural disaster, disasters can have on us. I mean, it's something that we never expected, but we can say, thanks to God, the damage was not as bad as the last time. But whatever it is, it will definitely um, negatively impact the income of our farmers. So I'm very happy today. Um, I have quite a bit of information available, so when I meet the cabinet in the next few days, I have something that I can report to. Acknowledging the severity of the situation, Minister Prosper assured the communities that the government would work swiftly to provide the necessary support and resources to aid in their recovery. From the communications unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.